Hello, Eridos here again. Today we are doing another Let's Build video, and this time we are doing uh, the Heavy Weapon Unit 05 Mega Slash Edge from uh, Koyabaya. Now this is part of the Frame Arms weapon series, and as you can see back here, it is a very modular weapon too. Now then, I've already went ahead, cut out the green pieces. I also built two of the pieces already because, again, much like my last Let's Build, you're not going to want to see me build the same thing twice. And also, in a very unorthodox move, I pre-cut the pieces so I can just pull them out when I need them instead of trying to trim them. I also took a Gundam marker. Yes, this time I used a Gundam marker, not a permanent marker. And did the panel lining and also used the gray to cover up any cut marks. I also took some silver enamel paint and painted some of the pieces too. Or at least the pieces that needed to be painted. Now then, this is going to go a little faster because it's not as big as the Emperor kit was. And I already, as I said, I already assembled these two pieces over here, so I already know what I'm going to be doing with this, these ones. So I can just take out the pieces I need and assemble them quickly and easily. These are all the pieces I need for the first sword. Now then, we take A7 here. Oh, I have to make sure I have this aligned correctly. Here we have A6. I have to have the little open piece up here pointing up as I slot it in place. Nice and tight. Although this is supposed to be a joint. This one, which is the handle, I do believe also has to be pointing up like this. Yes, that's what it says in the instructions. And there. Now for the final assembly, I have to just line it up into that little slot there. And peg the other side right in. Just got to get this thing lined up. And here we go. And for the final touch, and this is an optional piece, you can use it or not. It's an, I would rather plug it in because it is supposed to be the effects piece. There is the energy blade and we are done with that. Put that off to the side. Now we need these three pieces. Yes, simple three pieces. I can just put that off to the side. Let's see, I do believe it says to hold it like this. Take the handle. This time pointing in the downward position, making sure that little tab is still there. Because apparently you need to have that tab to pull it out when it's folded in like that. Make me a little nervous, but... <laughs> Clip that together. And we put the effects piece in as well. Make sure the slots are aligned. And we're done. And yes, that thing is, the blade thing is supposed to come out when you don't need it. Put that off to the side. And now for the big thing. And this one, let's see, yes, I need B3 and B5. And they need to be slot together immediately. Nothing goes inside of them. Just plug them in. There. See, I painted the inner tip silver. And that's been silver, uh, painted in silver and panel lined. So, yeah, that is completely painted and ready. So, put that there. Now then, B10... B4 and B6. Yeah, nothing too complicated here, so I could just take them off the sprue and pop them in properly. Let's see. Let's see, the curved piece points down. Wait, that's four, so it goes like that. And then six goes right here. 
Mm -hmm. Come on. Be careful. There we go. There is the piece there. That plugs in right in the back. Now then, let's see. B1 and B7, which are these two pieces here. Since these are so distinctly shaped, I don't have to worry too much about getting it wrong. Clip those together. Yep, nice and secure. You can see a little, you can see the place where I cut. It's flush enough to the thing. It's just that when you put the reflection up, you can definitely see where it's been cut. And it's also been painted over with gray Gundam marker, so that way it, it's not really visible when you take a uh, take a look at it. Only when you look close enough can you actually see that it's been, uh, is that's the uh, clipped area. Okay, number eight, which is the handle here. Let's see. This side has to be out when you put it in here. Again, the handle is just pegged in. It's not snapped in or anything. Okay, B2, which is this big honking piece. This is going to be very quick. Make sure that's pointed up. B9. This is where I kind of screwed up the paint job a little, but still painted. Let's see as it goes right here, I believe. No, wait, wait, wait. I got that wrong. Or do I? Yeah, it goes like that because this piece needs to be pointing up. So it does cover that little painted detail. Don't worry about falling apart. This thing is supposed to be modular, so you might need to take some uh, plastic cement to the inside of this later. Okay, you take this and put it right on top there. Sure, it clicks in, and there's its kind of rifle mode, which is right there. I'm going to twist that. Now then, you open the instruction booklet and look at the, one of the first configurations. Move this here, move that up, move this down and over, and it, a little tricky. But I think that's how it, yeah, it goes right like that, I believe, according to the instructions. A little lopsided there, but no way. Got it wrong. It's supposed to go like this. still. I uh, hope that the thing doesn't rub off. Okay, then like so. Okay, that is the opposite of what the instructions show, but who cares? It's on a side anyway. Then we take the blade and carefully Snap it in place. Wait, let me see. Easy. There we go. There's the blade. Now for the fun part. Getting this all together. <laughs> okay, we gotta make sure this is extended while I do this because it has to go in a kind of a weird angle. And slide that in. Peg in place. And there is a groove in this part to let this sit in there. Same here. Peg that in. And don't worry, it's not breaking, it's just creaking. That is plastic on plastic creaking there. There we go. Final piece. Fold these in, and this is the part that I'm scared of because there's a little, because as I said, there's a little tiny tab on the handle you have to use your fingernail to dig out, but again, I'm not sure how tolerable the plastic tolerances will be after a while. Fold that in, plug that in, 
and we are done. There is the Mega Slash Edge. I don't have a model kit on hand to demonstrate this with. After all, it, this is meant for frame arms. I did try one of these axe pieces in the Emperor, but you could hold this, you couldn't hold that. Anyway, that's my time for now. My battery's almost dying, but the construction's done, and I will see you again next time.